says we're live. I'm waiting for you all to enter the virtual space. Come in, come in, come in, people. Hello, hello. Hi, hi everyone. I'm just typing what this is all about tonight. I'm assuming those of you that are here already know exactly what is going on. Hetty, I see you are here. Let's go live with you. Because some of you will be like, who's this person? <laughs> we weren't expecting you. I'm going to wait until I introduce myself. Hi, Cora. I see some of you waving already. Hetty, you're in. You've made it into my studio. Yeah, no technical hitches this time. Anyone that joined last week would have been aware of that. But yeah, thank you so much for taking over the channel this week, Santia. I'm um, mm. so excited because uh, this week we're all about oxytocin, which is the O in dose. And uh, as, as you know, we've planned your yoga around it. It's, uh, it's about the love hormone, isn't it? It's the love hormone. It gives us those warm fuzzies when we're with our friends, loved ones, with our dogs. So I've got my dog that's just joined me right here at the, the session. Um, but yeah, it's talk to us a little bit about what you'll be doing because I think normally we associate oxytocin with like the love we get from other people right but actually you, you can produce this happy hormone yourself by just giving yourself that bit of self-love and that yeah. safety I think it's that kind of feel good feeling so I would say it's kind of hard sometimes to pinpoint what that's going to be because as individuals we all have different things that give us that feeling right um i feel really fortunate that my sister um actually oh there's <laughs> there's shabba <laughs> i'll let you know team that i've got some yoga assistants but i feel really fortunate that my sister actually was moving back to london before lockdown so she's been staying with me for months now and I know it might seem really, but we haven't lived together like this for years and years and years. And so I get that feeling where I just, you know, we meditated together yesterday. And at the end of meditation, I looked over at her and I just got that feeling of, oh my God, I like, I, I haven't got words. I just love you so much. And I feel like every cell in my body is sort of saying that. Um, of also, when we're gonna do it tonight is, um, some of you don't check out when you hear this, okay, humor me, we're gonna hug ourselves. And I know, if you know me, you know that I'm like always trying to find ways to kind of, um, I don't want to swear, but make it, make this whole scene less like tree huggy and just incense and just baths and just diffusers and just kind of keep it a little bit real. Um, but we are going to hug each other and then you can let me know uh, if it was like on the tree huggy spectrum or <laughs> if you can get down with it. Oh, well, I'm super excited. I'm going to check out now and leave this in your capable hands um, and I'm going to join in myself. Before you leave me, yeah. I wanted to know if, if you, is this okay to have this mellow music in the background or is it disturbing for you? No, I, I absolutely love it. I mean, it's only like licensing issues, right? But I think it sounds pretty, pretty tough. Oh, looking and there's, there's no lyrics. We're going for a little music. Cool. All right, then, my lady. Well, I will check out in your capable hands. And Thank you for having me. Bye. See you soon. All right, everyone. Um, I am, if you've just tuned in, all right, it's only two minutes past six. You've arrived at exactly the right time. My name is Sanchia Legister. I'm a yoga teacher, dabbling in all sorts of things at wellness. Mm -hmm. And tonight, we are just going to spend the next 20, 25 minutes together getting back to the heart and what's that oh hold on a minute rose quartz <laughs> if you already knew about this event you might have a cheeky bit of rose quartz with you already if you didn't know or you're new to rose quartz check it out just google it and it is a stone to invite love and it's a stone that's just all about nourishing that space all right so what you'll need i'm gonna hop over here i hope that you can see okay obviously it's night time i've got the lights on but here we are so i've got a yoga mat you don't need a yoga mat but be comfortable a rug some carpet don't blame me for any carpet burns <laughs> and then i've also got a cushion bolster grab anything like that grab it from the sofa grab it from your bed and then if you do want a block or two or a firmer cushion or a book you can have that as well all right i'm going to quickly just knit over to the comments to see anything oh sharatosha you're so ready for this i'm so ready for you lot good everyone is kind of on the same page okay if you need to light your candles take a moment to do that i couldn't find a lighter here to do mine and then i want you to find a nice comfortable seat so for me it's going to be with the bolster between my legs and oh, you see i've got my 
got my shawl, I've got my scarf and I'm ready. All right, get comfortable. That is the most important thing. Whether this was a heart opening class or not, get comfortable. And of course, I'm gonna offer you lots of things and you can really do what feels good for you. If it's not what I'm suggesting, don't do it, okay? So first offerings, hand on the lower belly, hand onto the heart. And you can soften your gaze or you can completely close your eyes. Just take a moment to be, to breathe. And you can make sounds. You can exhale through your mouth. You can sigh out. If you've got a note or two in you, if you haven't got a note or two in you, you can sing. I just want you to spend this few moments, minutes here with me. I see some of you are just checking in now. You're just waving, you're sending love hearts. And you know, what, what, better, what better symbol than love heart? So as you're here, wherever your hands are, let everything soften, soften the shoulders. Give your jaw some movements and wiggle your face. Make big faces, small faces. And then see if you can just have it neutral. And as you just start to breathe a bit deeper, notice that space between your inhale and your exhale. It's like a space where it's like nothing's happening. It's just perfect, a perfect space. Inhaling. Find that little perfect spot and exhale. Good. There's no rhyme or reason, just breathe. Oh, really nice. So when we think about the heart space, it's really easy to think about the front of the body, right? You've got your hand there and you can feel it beating. But remember that your heart is kind of more shaped like your fist, right? Kind of the size of it. And it's, it's got this 3D element, all right? So you can think about the front of the heart, yes. You can think about if you were able to get in the sides, what does the sides of the heart look like? And then of course the back of the heart, that mirror image on the front to the back, what is that space like there? You know, the heart is a muscle. And as we were talking earlier, Hetty and I, about that feeling, you know, when the oxytocin gets in and you feel it, I didn't even have any words to describe that. As you start to breathe in, maybe you can feel that muscle sort of pumping around everything that you need, the blood all around your body, right? All around the body into every single cell. And we're gonna take four breaths together. This is gonna be smooth, really easy. I'm gonna sigh them out. If you wanna join me, you can do that too. When you breathe in, you could think about what makes your heart have that feeling? What do you think gives you that oxytocin spike? And as you exhale, maybe you can think about what you don't need to be in your heart space. What's taking up room in there that you could go like, you know what, I'm, I'm done with you. Let's get going with the four breaths. When you're ready, inhale. And if you want to sigh with me, it's happening now. Exhale through the mouth. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, good. We're gonna have a nice stretch. Reach your arms all the way out to the sides of your room and up towards your ceiling. And then we're gonna make a W shape as you let the elbows bend and you pull the arms down and then push the heart forward. You might even lift your gaze up and the chin slides to the ceiling. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, go nice and wide. Imagine your arms are pulling through a treacle. The arms go backwards and then the heart pushes forwards a little more. One more, inhale, reaching up. And exhale, wide. Nice, inhale, reach up. And bring the palms together and bring the thumbs to heart space. You can bring the head towards the fingertips for a moment and just bowing down to you, honor that space, you your heart what makes your heart sing what makes your heart dance what could you give more how could you give more to your heart right and what maybe do you need to edge out of there to give a bit more space then when you're ready you reach your right hand down onto the ground lift your left arm up and over find a nice big stretch here and we talked about the sides of your heart right you think about that 3d if you had a little window in your ribcage and you could see through what would you see when you're ready, rise back up to center. Let the left hand come on the ground, reach the right arm up and then come all the way over. Good. When you're ready, come all the way back to center. Can we come onto all fours? This is a, this is Shabba. 
he makes my heart sing most of the time. Sometimes I'm like, oh, deep breaths, he's ruined another plant. Finding yourself here starting to rock and sway. There's something really comforting for me with this motion. It reminds me, I don't know, I think it does remind me of being young, but it reminds me about being around friends' children as well. And a sense of like, there's always movement with them. Let's start to draw some big circles. Imagine your heart has a pen sticking out of it and you're sort of drawing this big circular shape. Maybe you're even drawing a heart, exploring back and forth and do the other side of it. If you've only gone wave, let's go the other way, coming all the way around. Again, you might do a heart, so a bit in the middle, remember, and then all the way back. Two more, you're breathing and just moving. I want you to remind yourself there's no right or wrong here. Nothing we do tonight will be right or wrong for you. It'll just be however it comes out. And then grab your cushion and take it somewhere. It's got to feel comfortable for you. For me, it's just at the base of the thigh. It's resting my chest and heart and belly and face and then reaching the arms all the way out. Oh. And you can shimmy your hips from side to side, push your bum back. And then settle here for two breaths. Full breath in. And sigh out, oh. and another one, inhale, let it go, oh. good, from there start to you come back to your tabletop, have your cushion handy somewhere just to the side, tuck the toes and lift your bum up to the ceiling, come into a baby down dog, so when I say baby, it's not full maximum, just bend the knees and keep it moving. A little reminder that our hearts, it's always working, right? It's kind of gentle, we don't always know it's there working. Sometimes we do, we get nervous, we feel the heart racing. Just keep your engine going. Start to walk forwards towards the top of your mat. And then just let the head come all the way down, as heavy as you can. We're trying to remind ourselves that head below the heart really starts to get our body into that rest and restore, start to move into that parasympathetic, so away from stress. Let the head dangle, take a deep breath in, and exhale out. Oh. Imagine your arms are wings, sweep them out to the side again, and then let them float you all the way up to the ceiling. Oh. Bring your palms together, bring your hands into that heart space. You're at the top of your mat, and it's really gentle, really easy. I'm still moving, I'm kind of like, whoa. <laughs> Hands on the heart space and remind yourself what brought you here today. You know, you're like, oh yeah, this oxytocin thing, this heart space, I want to get into it. Nice big sweep of the arms, lift all the way up, send your arms a little further backwards, maybe somewhere behind the ears. You'll see this little back bend, which pushes the heart forward, but don't forget the heart at the back. Exhale, bend your knees, send your bum back, send your hands down, let the head drop, let it go. Oh. Take a little half lift, let the heart press forwards. Again, pitch the back of the body. Exhale, come down, bend your knees and step your left foot to the back of the mat. Left knee slowly and gently on the ground. If you want to double up, roll the side of your mat over and press your knee there. Extra comfort, who doesn't want that? And then it's up to you where you want to be. You could have your hands just at heart. You could be feeling into your heart. I'll sweep them arms all the way up. So you're in this low lunge. Full breath in, exhale, opening out again, making that shape we started with in the beginning. And maybe you stay there for a moment. You can invite a bit of a movement, gentle twisting. Really mindful, thinking about that 360, thinking about your heart, 3D. One more breath, exhale, bringing the hands onto the ground, releasing your double mat if you went for it. And then bring your right knee to the floor. Take a full breath in and lower your chest to the ground. Take your hands off your mat so you're wide. Keep your toenails on the floor. Your elbows flick up to the ceiling. Inhale, lift your chest up. This is as high as you want to go. And then we're going to go for a nice twist. Think about your heart wanting to have a little look. Start to look over the left shoulder and let your right shoulder follow you. As you inhale, lift up. Your heart taking a peek around your space, assessing the situation as we twist the other way. Oh. Inhale, lifting up, and then coming back to centre, all the way down, rib by rib, onto the ground, bringing your hands back onto your shoulders, tuck your toes, that gentle baby down dog, keep the engine puffing, keep it going as you bend the knees, one by one, pushing your heels down, 
just turning that music down a little bit keep the legs going for me too nice then when you're ready start to walk forwards again mm. you find your head below your heart this time take your hands behind the back of your neck and just cut around Slowly start to roll up through your spine and bring your elbows forwards and spread them out. Lean your head into your hands. Then reach your arms all the way up and out to the sides of the room. And then wrap your arms around you. There's that hug. Try and get your hands as close together as you can. Give your shoulders a little massage. And then if it feels okay, you can tuck your chin into your chest for a moment. And you can close your eyes. And I'm the one on, on like live, right? I'm the one that can be seen. You can have a little sway, you can have a little dance if that's okay with you. Breathing in, closing your eyes. One more inhale. And then nice and big of your arms again, sweep them all the way up, maybe a little behind the ears, that really natural burn, giving the heart upwards. Exhale forward, fold, soft knees, bum back, hands down. Inhale, half lift, peeping forwards. And exhale, stepping your right foot to the back of the mat. Slowly bring your right knee down. You can roll the mat over for double comfort. And then in your own time, bring in the hands to heart space. or reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, making that big W shape. Oh, good. Then if it felt okay, it feels good for you, you want to explore, just take that little bit of movement, the twist through the spine middle of your back supporting your heart right think about your rib cage how it just protects all your important organs so on the next exhale send the hands down onto the ground and bring the left knee back and you're on your hands and knees again full breath in lower your chest to the floor and then when you're ready come into a little cobra as you lift the chest Think about the back of the heart here and exhale, coming all the way down. From there, tuck your toes and push your bum back. And then when we're in child's pose again, you can be as comfortable as you want. Go for the bolsters, go for the cushions. Who didn't want to be cozy here? We're taking three breaths. And I want you to, you're in child's pose, you're down. I want you to think about your heart, that 360, the little windows. All right, so if you imagine your rib cage and you can see through, having a peep at that heart. The first breath, probably a, a, an easier one for me, is you're laying on something. You might really feel how your whole front of your body, inhale, pushes and gets bigger into the bolster, into your thighs. You feel your heart sort of bursting through. And exhale. Now bring in the awareness to the sides of the rib cage, thinking about that window, peeping in on your heart space. What's the condition of your heart today? Full breath in. Does it need more attention? Exhale. Is it feeling duly satisfied? Now the awareness on the back of your rib cage. The rib cage does actually move, right? The heart getting some space. Think about those windows. Full breath in. And exhale. Good. Slowly start to roll up through your spine. Make sure your knees are feeling good. So if you want to double over again, you can roll the front of the mat over. You get extra, you can even triple it. Then I'm going to take my firm cushion. So it's either a cushion, um, firm cushion or blocks to the back, just by my toes. Take a moment to sweep the right arm all the way up. Bring your right hand on the ground behind you and then press into that hand to help rise and lift. Lift your left arm up. And maybe like you're grabbing a hand here, a hand that you want to grab, of course, reaching up. So this bottom hand feels the support as well. One more inhale. As you exhale, come all the way back to sit down, bring the hands onto the heart space, full breath in. And let it go. We know that this heart is capable of so much, right? It's got these dualities as well, this love and this loss perhaps this fullness and breaking perhaps is capable of so much lift your left arm all the way up as you inhale find a nice big stretch and bring your hand to the ground like a hand is gently supporting the back of your heart space inhale lift up that hand just at the back of your body and find that big reach and stretch slow motion on the exhale come all the way down again bring your hands back onto your heart inhale and exhale 
last one inhale and exhale nice team we're going to come onto our bums and we're going to bring the left leg out and step the right leg all the way over good and we're going to keep the thigh nice and close to the front of our chest so we can relax relax and rest into the chest your right hand is behind you so you've got some support to sit nice and tall and then take your left arm all the way around the right thigh squeeze it in hug it and then start to turn as you exhale letting your right shoulder be relaxed and looking at the back of the room so hug yourself here again so we've got that double hugging the hugging's coming back but this time we've got this thigh right we're resting trusting ourselves skin to skin that sense of contact one more inhale Maybe you're even closing your eyes and exhaling. Nice. Gently come all the way through center. Take your right foot and bring it onto the inside of your left leg. And you can uh, prop yourself up if you feel that that feels better in your hip here with a block. When you're ready, lift your arms all the way up. Again, those hands up there reaching. Maybe you look there. And then think about your heart again as you gently let it come all the way to the front. Now you're exposing the back, right? So the front gets this shielding and then the back is open. What is your heart seeing out of the back of that window? Let's have two more breaths here. Inhale. Maybe you hide the front of the heart a little more, expose the back a little bit more. Have you got any? I feel like maybe my secrets are in the back of that heart space there. One more breath. And exhale, slowly start to roll up through your spine. Reach your right hand onto the ground beyond that cushion. Press into the floor and lift yourself all the way up. Oh. Exhaling, coming all the way down. Letting your right leg go long and bringing your left leg all the way in. Step the left foot over. That hug is coming back, the right arm wrapping around. Get in a, a fair grip. Support yourself with the left hand first and then get a tighter grip, hug it in. Let yourself trust yourself here. Full breath in, sit a little taller and then as you exhale, soften the left shoulder and start to turn and look somewhere, the side wall, the back wall, breathe in. Maybe close your eyes and exhale. One more breath here. And exhale, coming all the way to centre. Pick your left foot up, give it a helping hand. Like, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> left foot inside of the right leg. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up again. In that sense, I, I keep thinking about hands here. I think it's because I have, as I shared, been spending so much time with my sister. Exhale, come forwards. Hmm. Good. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Back of the heart exposed. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is there anything in there that we need to protect? Roll all the way up through your spine. Send your feet to the bottom of your mat and then push your bum all the way in. Good. So closer to your heels. So you've got some space here. Now I'm going to use this bolster. We're going to have 10 breaths. I'm going to count them with you. The bolster, so if you, if you want to create something like this, you can have it two ways. Um, take your time, see how you feel in it, okay? The bum stays on the ground. The bolster is about one inch away from you. Use your hands to gently ease yourself onto the bolster or whatever it is that you've made. You can roll a towel up. Step your feet nice and wide and bring your knees together. If this is just not feeling good for you, and then of course you can turn it around the other way. Think about underneath your shoulder blades. Same thing, use your hands. And then work out where your arms feel best. Oh. Step the feet wide, bring the knees together and be here. So hope that you're in a position that's quite comfortable for you. This sense of opening the front of the heart, but also don't forget about the back, something's happening to it there. The sides with my arms open as well, even more exposed. We're gonna start the 10 breaths right now, team. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, keep the breath flowing. Exhale. Keep an eye on you better this way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Slowly, with the least amount of fuss possible, slide off your thing, your bolster, your cushion, and just come onto your back. Hmm. Step your feet, your sorry, knees nice and wide, bring your feet together. Give your hips a little bit of a wiggle and then you can also prop your thighs up with the blocks if you need to. Take your hands to your hips. And if something's been troubling your heart, it might also be lying in your hips. They might be feeling a little bit tighter. If your heart's feeling really full and buoyant, maybe the hips are feeling quite loose. So just check in, right? What's going on with me and where else am I feeling it maybe? And maybe we've made the connection, maybe we haven't made the connection. Everything has its time, right? For us to learn our things about ourselves. Take two more breaths in this position. Inhale. And exhale. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. From there, team, bring your knees together. Use your hands. And then you can move some of the props out of the way. I'm keeping my bolster. Keeping my bolster, I'm going for the shawl. <laughs> I want the bolster just under the creases of my knees. I'm gonna lie back down again, nice and long. And we're gonna go for a big stretch. Reach your arms all the way to the back of the room. Point the toes, maybe a little wiggle. And then place yourself back down. Hands could go onto the heart and the belly or just the belly, wherever feels good. Now, even if your hand is on your heart, I want you to think about the mirror image of the back of the body into the floor. Let's take three breaths here. There's so many breaths, right? But how often do you get the chance to do this? Or how often do you give yourself this chance, this permission? Inhale. This time I'm offering a hum as we blow out. Mm. Two more. Let's get this hum really going. Let's get the vibrations bubbling around in our lips, in our heart, in our chest. Inhale. And again, last one, maybe a little smile on your face. Inhale, longer than before. Let that hum out. And now some of you will just stay here, I'm sure. Stay as long as you can. Some of you might want to come out of this. I will bring us all out together. Point your toes and have a nice big stretch again and wiggle. I love stretching. If you love stretching, do it, right? And do it in your bed. If that's what you love doing, it, do it in your beds. <sighs> things you like doing, things that give you pleasure. One by one, bring the knees into the chest and wrap your arms around, get nice and close to yourself, folded inwards. Have a little rock from side to side. Then my favorite part of the class, apart from Shavasana, is to roll onto the right side and have a little moment here, rest. Oh, and then you can push your left hand into the floor. You can roll up through your spine. Oh. <laughs> and be comfortable in your seat. And then maybe take your wrist cords out of your bra, bring it into the palms. I'm going to lay mine flat onto my heart space, my palms there. Full inhale together. A little smile on the face and I'm letting it out. And I'm just spending these last few moments together with you to think about my own questions, right? 
what is there space for in my heart? Like, what's been filling it up lately? Can I get a bit more of that? And what's there ready to go? It's, oh, it's expired. I don't need it anymore. I'll spend a, another breath or so thinking on that, mulling it over. And maybe you even want to journal after this session. And now I'm going to imagine we're all in a room physically together with this last breath of the hum. The hum is coming back. I love the vibrations. When you're ready, let's go together. Inhale. And hum with me. From me to you, Dose Crew. What a pleasure, what an honour. Celebrating oxytocin, learning about what makes us feel that good, good feeling in the heart space? What can we do more? How can we do more? How can we get more of it? <laughs> Knowing that we can also get more of it by being with ourselves, all right? We've all got different setups. And so know that, maybe get into that hugging, all right? I sleep with a small pillow. People sleep with pillows sometimes between their legs. I also have one up here. And I just lean into it. I just lean into it. From me to you, team, thank you so, so much. Of course, I ran over time. Don't tell me off. <laughs> this will be saved. I hope you have a really, really wonderful Tuesday. Oh, look at you all. So many lovely, lovely comments. Thank you for being here. And yeah, replay it whenever you need to. Stay in touch, everybody. Happy, happy beginning of February. I feel like so much hope at the moment. Mwah. Sophie Boylan, thank you so much. Kate, too many nice messages to reply to. I want you all to know in the words of Gail Loveshock, you're my favourite, you're my favourite, you're my favourite, you're my favourite, you're all my favourite. <laughs> oh, thank you all so, so, so much. Take care, everyone. Mwah. Bye.